A rough game one from Brain. Do you sort of have better hope for them here in this game too, considering what they come out with this time? Yeah, I, I, whenever I see Alchemist, I'm yep. like, yeah, the, the team has much better chances of winning because this uh, hero can explode. We saw what he can do in the previous game, even without having a free farm. This time around, DGG will put Enigma against Alchemist, so some of the XP gold uh, is going to get uh, denied from Alchemist. Uh, and, uh, I mean, he can, st like, depending if he's going to go for Acid Spray, how good uh, On Me is with microing his demonic conversions, but uh, we'll see. Uh, he's paired up with, what, Marcy? Oh, I feel not not I your feel casual bad. pairing. <laughs> okay. No, not the, I, I would say not the strongest lane, but I also want to see a point in Concoction to be able to kill people. Uh, like, if Spartan can go in, trade his life, uh, get some extra region to the lane, get some tangos, die, and the Alchemist gets a kill, it's really worth it. And they get a couple of Eidolon skills as well. And for, for DGG, I mean, we're suddenly coming in with that last pick, right? The Enigma for, for Owned Me. It, it, is it one of those games where it did just look like a, a really nice one to get, get the Enigma out? Because not always a hero we see uh, being picked oh, up towards the end of the Never mind. Uh, well, they're swapping things around. Uh, okay. It's going to be Owned Me solo top with the Enigma. And it seems like they're going to be running an aggressive trialing. They will put uh, Monkey King there, I believe. Yeah, Let's he, have a look. I mean, bottom. Yeah, I mean, o Own Me's also moving back over to the mid, so... I think because then, because I guess overall, what is this just only trying to avoid feeding idlands to an alchemist? Is that? Is I that think they, I think they saw with the ward that Razor is going bottom, so yeah. now like they wanted to have alchemist against uh, his monkey king. That that's what they want to have. This is the matchup. They do not want to have monkey against Razor. Okay, let's see. Because for now. Indeed. Spartan is like, yeah, I'm, I'm the character. I mean, Sp um, Spartan's um, on his own for now whilst they make these moves. 3 CS on Spartan. Best start since 2016. Oh, he's ready to carry. And gonna get uh, D ward as well. Gonna kill that sentry. I mean, so will, will DGG move again? Or do you think they'll just accept this now? Uh, I, I, I mean, like, how bad is it to, to keep it as this? I mean, Monkey does not want to play into Razor. He also, starting with the Boundless Strike, uh, going to pop it immediately. 11 has a point in Plasma. It's going to be a lot of harassment. To, like, you're playing into Static Link, but also Plasma Fill plus the Power Shot. It's a ton of damage on Monkey. Seems like they're going to be running a tri lane for now. Maybe next time did get the single pull off top. So some of the creeps are going to get denied, but uh, so did Brain. Like, Brain pulled it to the big camp. You see Bottom, they will dive on me. They know he's on his own. And uh, with that dive, they'll be able to get themselves first blood just in time as well before Eleven gets taken down top. So Brain able to make the move just that little bit quicker, only by a second. I think what they could potentially do is get, like, one more kill on Spartan. Uh, okay, Zeus is moving back to bottom. I, I I just wanted to see, like, Spartan rotate, leave Alchemist one versus one against the Enigma, and now they're gonna swap. I'm wondering how much they're losing with this. You also uh, need to stop eventually uh, if things are not going too well. Monkey is sitting at, what, 7 CS. Alchemist has 10. And Alchemist is off to a like, good start, so I don't think uh, he cares so much. We'll see if he decides to TP out. Let's see if they're settled for this now. Look, DGG have made the moves to get the matchups that they want. Might be a bit too late, even yeah, two and a half just... minutes in already, so Brain could just say, whatever, we'll keep these lanes. I'll see Thughead down bottom. Monkey's dead. Ah, great setup there. And with the extra bit of burst that Thug can offer up. That move will catch Pleb by surprise. So, indeed, I don't think Brain's going to be too upset with the fact that the, the lane matchups have ended up the way that DGG won them because they've, they've got that lead, they've had that bit of a better start in the CS, and they're getting the kills. Because you're swapping a lot of these lanes, that means that cores who are swapping are not getting as much XP. And you have mid Dawnbreaker, like... She hits level 6, 
you know that she's gonna be ganking. And they do have like a decent setup with either concoction, uh, just a stun from Wind Ranger, even a dispose from Marcy could set things up. And Clab has jumped in on this. It's gonna take quite a bit of damage here on the way back out. And it does, in the new Beto might. Okay, no, they've got the dispose up in time. MNT was very close to maybe being able to burst Nubito down. Stun control for the Marcy's there. Another kill for Brain now up three to one. But now Monkey can't play bottom lane. Yeah, he's on his own now. And against the three of them, that uh, is not something that Pleb wants to step up into. I think that maybe now that I'm thinking about it, maybe the better choice would be if they kept Monkey top and just try lane with the two supports okay. and have Enigma bottom maybe sacrifice a little bit, but uh, put Monkey off to a better start because Monkey didn't get too much in the last two minutes. And again, Spawn nearly finding the range there to drag him back once more with his dispose. Not quite. It's a dangerous lane. They could add a third hero down here. So they're kind of going to do what you wanted to, to see them settle for, but uh, kind of with the lane switched up, they'll leave Omi on his own top and they'll make sure they've got the extra backup to, to protect Pleb in this lane. Looks like Brain will answer to this, though, by bringing in a third member themselves. It's in the beat, though, and he's going to be able to cut the tree. Bring Pleb down. Pleb will get the balance, so he's trying to dive in there. We'll get the kill here, but Pleb... Now Unlikely to get out. He'll yeah. die in return. Fighting into Acid Spray as a trial, it's like pretty similar to, I'd say, tag team. Like, the more heroes there are, the just the better, like, even Undying. So some of these heroes do shine in the tri lanes. And Tug having a much better game on a Wind Ranger than the previous one. Does have these earn charges, so he can either heal people up. There's going to give them extra damage. Uh, finish them off as well and the uh, Spartan because he was the one collecting the XP getting some solo levels and CS he's very tanky as a position 5 does have magic wand charges does have a raindrop and now he's ready to move that's over the setup on MTD MTD has a toss but that's all he's got you now we've got pop the fairy fire but the earn charges are there from Thug it's gonna be another pick off for Brain much much better start Monkey is getting some levels Pleb they left him with, and they're also staying out of XP range. Like, they need to give him levels. He's level of four, six minutes in. That's something uh, you want to have. But at least Enigma top is getting levels, getting the farm. See, so, yeah, coming in with a bit of a dive bottom, but backup's there. Solar Guardian in from Wish, and Nubito no longer a target that DGG can look for. Turn up here on the bottom lane with the four of them, ready to keep Nubito safe and push back DGG. Without a doubt, definitely going to be a tougher game too here for DGG. The tables have turned in, in terms of who's got the out to play with this time. And Brain, so solid start. Oh, look at that. Razor with the hand of Midas. Oh, yeah. And we're just sort of being left in the... Ooh! Own me. He might just have this solo. He does. A nice read there from him. He knows that he can go with the Eidolons out and the Pulse down. Drops the black hole. And he'll be able to get the solo kill on 11. Nice done. Getting some gold, getting some levels as well. Like, th these early black holes, they really don't matter. He also got the earn charge from that as well. I want to see MTD move. Like, I'm wondering when he's going to be able to move. He has 1,000 gold saved up uh, this time around. Not going for the face boots, going for gloves of haste. And now thinking, do I need to invest 400 or do we need me to buy a blink dagger. I think he's just gonna get a blink dagger and then go for power trades. So bottom lane, DGG. We'll find spot. Yeah, now managing to catch up with the, these kills that they're getting. See over in the river wish. Getting the invis room before MTD could and they're still you know, double powerings. They were both left out here. So also able to take himself a haste. Definitely lead for a scary fight if DGG try and force it anywhere. Wish will be ready to turn up with the Solar Guardian and that haste rune in just about 10 seconds. This is the power rune that Tiny would definitely love to have. You have it, uh, you know that he's going to be joining and uh, Spartan making a move amid. Like yeah. MTD getting surrounded. Let's see, they've got TPs coming in, Lodin. 
Not if he can do anything to help out. He's got a cold embrace, but it won't matter. Power shot from Thug cuts straight through it. I get the kill in the mid. Slow down MTD's blink. Maybe even look for more here, Brain. So they're ready to chase down, get on top of loading. Another kill picked up in the mid. Two supports from DGG can't really do that much. Like, they are very level dependent. They need those level sixes for them to, like, feel the impact compared to Brain. You have Marcy, who's uh, extremely... Ooh, the big stacks. Oh, this is quite a nice deal here for Brain. See a smoke up from base from DGG, but they won't be able to get over in time. There's Brame happily taken away a good amount of farm from DGG's jungle. You don't have to make your own stacks if you plan to invade enemy jungle. But what if both teams have the same thief mentality? What happens then? That's true, who gets the stacks? It's 3k lead for Brame. Looking so much better than they did in game one. Spartan's already level 6 on Marcy. Yeah. Windranger level 6.5, about to hit level 7. So big, big difference between these two supports. Vyvern only level 3, Zeus is level 5.5. Yeah, they've got to find loading some space. We've seen how crucial his curses have been in previous battles. We'll, we'll see that the Solar Guardian over here towards him. As they're loading, he'll put the gold embrace. Uh, they've got the magical. Taking him down. And MTD's still trying to fight on, but there's backup. Shackle and a dispose. Okay, that shackle. <laughs> I mean, we'll see some backup coming in from Own Me to keep MTD safe, and it might just work. He's been able to take down Spartan. MTD will still die. See if Own Me can pick up another. Wish swinging back around with the Star Breaker with a power shot from Thug. It's another secure kill for Wish. That was a very weird angle for Shackle Shot to connect because he used dispose. Zeus, level six, they're gonna bop him. There we go, they will manage to get that, that big kill on Wish. He was having quite the time picking up the kills in these fights mid. At least able to clean him up towards the end of it. Because yeah, Shackle was already flying and then he disposed him and look where it connected. Like exactly where he landed, where just, he's supposed to land. Oh, some cool, uh, cool stuff happening between those two. Gotta watch out, she's getting thrown around in the, the air. You never know where you're gonna get locked down to. That's Pleb. Pushing his limits down bottom and also, uh, looks like he wants to go down the Midas route as well. So he has that, that queued up and what? He does have it, yeah. I mean, we, we've seen it, you know, on Razor, you know, it's kind of, it's, it's pretty much semi-common. We, we see it quite a few times on Razors, uh, but I've got to be uh, honest, I can't remember the last time I saw it on a Monkey King, the course. You know why? Because it's not good. <laughs> Uh, if like, you want to get something that yeah. like gets you more far, like just get the Echoes. Echo Saber is the perfect item for Monkey King. Gets you to your Jingu faster, gives you the mana speed, uh, mana regeneration that you need to use your uh, Primal Spring. Uh, gives you a little bit of tankiness. Uh, can disassemble for a BKB. It's just, I, I don't think you can uh, ask for a better item on a Monkey King. Like this hand of, like what happens when you have hand of, like what's your item after hand of Midas? Probably needs to be a BKB anyway. I think it, ah, it's going to be interesting to see how this works out for him. Well, we'll see once he's got the item picked up. We'll be able to actually check, I believe, uh, sort of on the, the monkey. He, he, he might still might swap things around. Like, might keep I this, this gloves of haste. I mean, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. And he did have a Sage's Master. Could start working on the Echo. So, may, maybe just memeing at the moment. Um, but... I know you, you, you can never put it past these carry players to go for the Midas when they feel that the early game's been rough and, and they want to try for the catch-up Golden XP. I mean, I do prefer Hand of Midas when the mic carries Q that instead of Shadow Amulet. That's true. That is true. At least it ain't that. Top lane. Come on with the counter. Play chase down. Own me. Is Eleven gonna live here? Should be fine. He's fine. And a good job. Ooh, oh, never mind. Zeus. I tell you what, though. He did get that Midas off literally a millisecond before he died. I don't know if we can get a cool clutch Midas usage replay on that one. Uh, back in action, Curse is there. We'll sort of maybe just end up baiting MTD into looking for a fight. As uh, this fight ain't going to go well for DGG, they're going to lose MTD for that one. Uh, didn't time it right with the Curse. You know, used it a bit too early, but yeah, that hand of Midas usage from Razor. He's more than fine. Monkey, I believe the one is getting delivered. That is it. Recipe, hand of Midas on the Courier. Oh no, there we go. Well, yeah, that. I mean, you're not <laughs> surprised about that stat. I, I expected more 
Oh, you actually Midas I was actually surprised there was three games. You, you thought there'd be, be a few I, more here and there. Yeah, people do love to pick it up when they feel like, you know, things are not going well, but uh, yeah. stats, stats don't lie. We'll see. Well, they dropped the black hole to get the kill on Thug, but uh, still losing Onmi's life in return, and now top lane, NTD trying to deal with this pressure that Wish has put in. They'll bring MNT in as well. Might have a chance of getting him here. He's, he's out for the TP. Actually, they've got nothing else to stop it. Wishes out. Nice, and I'm keeping the track of everything. By keeping the track of everything, three abilities, well done. Just try to hype him up. Uh, when I did the math in my head, looked good, but after, not as good. Big lead for Brain. 6k gold yeah. lead, Radiance uh, finished on the Alchemist, and now the difference is going to start. You have one carry that has hand of my... Maybe... maybe like, he thinks, I need some extra gold to be able to match up Alchemist's farm. Now, we'll see if this approach works for Pleb. Just TP out is the strategy that is working out for both of these teams. No, good escape. Could not risk her to mess around with this Razor right now. Especially when the ult's up. We'll see where she's on a smoke, and he has got Solar Guardian. If they find a fight around this mid lane, could be pretty good. Spartan already trying to poke some reaction out from DGG, but looks like they're not going to fall for it. There's tier one in the mid lane. They're starting to fall pretty low. Another round of push from Brame should do the job. It's hard to make these blink moves with MTD when there's a Dawnbreaker with Solar Guardian in the play. If they're not getting the jump on Wish, Easy turnaround will be there every single time. A bit of a different game, especially from loading. Like, you can feel that they are playing from behind. They're yeah. not as aggressive. Uh, they feel that the carry still needs some time to be able to catch up, get to his items. Enigma does have a blink dagger going into Spirit Vessel next. Midnight Pulse only level one at the moment, but uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of overtime damage uh, when you're playing against the Alchemist. Uh, the, like, they're HP uh, removal, like it's, it's really, really good. He does have, like he's gonna have two ways of dispelling things, uh, especially with uh, like once he gets the BKB plus the Chemical Rage. Uh, uh, holding the tower, even though it has no HP whatsoever, they know that DGG wants to go for it, so they're ready. Also the Solar Guardian that you mentioned, So hard for them to make a move here. Brain. Still getting all the farm in the world for Nubito. It's hard to sort of see a, an opening anytime soon that will allow DGG to make a play. Red lane, Zeus getting pretty much solo killed by Nubito. And they'll take the tower off the back of that one. I guess fortification will buy some time, but as low as it is. Not really something that DGG is going to look to hold on to. Spartan already on the search for anyone that was hiding around in the trees trying to protect it. 9k lead. Oh, small things to notice. When you have a trusty shovel in your team and you have Alchemist, like that's probably the best item you can find because he just gets the extra gold from it. <laughs> I look at the difference. 12 runes, uh, almost uh, 3.5k compared to 1,000 on side of DGG. Now already up to a 10k lead. It's just growing with every second. And hard to really see how DGG's cores are ever going to catch up. Obviously, Pleb relying on this Midas. Has got the Echo Saber done. Going for the BKB next. Highly likely, even when he has those done, turning up to the fight, it's going to be hard for him to, to find any uh, sort of damage. You're still fighting into Razor. You're yeah. still fighting into, like, minus armor. Uh, Alchemist is going to be super tanky. Uh, team fight from DGG is super strong. I'm a little worried about the execution because fights tend to be chaotic. Vyvern, uh, still 600, 700 gold away from Blink Dagger. Enigma does have one. So what they can do, MTD, and he's going to go in for the kill. He'll get it. Immediately going for the TP out, but he'll get put to a stop by Nubito. They'll set up with the Wukong's command. Cursed out as well. Should bring Spartan pretty low here, but the Wukong's now coming to an end. One of the damage to finish him off. MTD is going to be the focus. And Slodin will try and give him some protection with the Cold Embrace. 
but he will get left behind here, MTD. So the dive, allowing them to take down Thug, but losing MTD for it. The trade's continuing to not be a good one for DGG. They got one kill out of it. Uh, maybe with a little bit of better execution, he would be able to get out, but uh, it is what it is. This Alchemist is massive. Like, they managed to kill him only once. Uh, does have a BKB now. Like, Roshan's potentially on the menu, and uh, they jump in instantly. I might need to be a bit more careful. I, I guess they think without having Vibrant ulti and also Zeus ulti, they can just go in. We have not seen Enigma use the Black Hole since the one from the laning stage where he got the solo kill. Yeah, how's he doing on his own zone? He's got the, the, the blink and, and about a recipe away from having the full BKBs. It's about money for the Mithril Hammer here. So with the blink BKB, he'll, he'll have good opportunities to go for these black holes without any interruption. Which is just the, the fact that Wish is likely to, to offer up that heal, that save, to keep anyone alive that does get caught in it if he's outside of it himself. Now having good. Three BKBs online for Brame, they're ready to fight, like they're ready to go in. Especially with the Aegis pickup, Zeus also using ulti, ulti to scan things out to see where they are. I mean, they're very ready to fight here, Brame. All three cores in excellent position to go. MTD will have a DD for the next play, so a high chance that Perhaps they'll be able to start the fight with MTD deleting a hero and the Echo and the DD. That the good old uh, MTDD. -D. It's in the name. I mean, they're not, not looking to do much about this tier 2 pressure. They're kind of just letting Brame have the space here. Remember, the Aegis on Nubito. Very, very difficult to make any sort of coordinated move to, to respond to anything that Brain looked to take off the map right now. They've just got such a huge lead. Only just 20 minutes in. 13k up. Spartan is the one solo pushing the tower. Where's the efficiency? Use that trusty shovel, dig up is he not bounty rooms. Oh, like he, not digging. It's Come all on. about the money. Well. I, you know, He's holding the big boy Philly. True. But you still gotta dig it. DGG, yeah, just ignoring this completely. They have got Blink now on low, Dean, so... Chances to, to see those huge curses that we know he can pull off. He needs to, needs to do some big ones this game. So between him and Omi, they have got solid teamfight control with the curses and the black holes. We have three melee heroes on Brame, and also a range that wants to be running in on the front lines. The, the Razor, though it will be will be good opportunities for these ultimates, these these AoE controls to really cause issues for Brame, even though Brame do have this lead. See to the mid, MTD will get jumped, they'll have to use the curse to try and get some safety for MTD, but he looks to still be in a whole world of trouble here. Static Link will end up getting broken actually by his own teammate there, Spartan with his disposed. It doesn't matter though, Eleven didn't need to build up any damage, he already has enough to be able to take down MTD, Brame. Still, like, spell casting from load in is on point. It's just that uh, there is... There's not enough. I I want to see how the team fight's going to go. The problem is if they use, like, every single ulti, they pop their BKBs inside of DGG. I'm not going to say the game's going to end, but it's going to be in a state where it's going to be pretty difficult and you're going to have a window of two-plus minutes for Brame to do whatever the hell they want. Was he top lane? MNT, he's being hunted. Well, so they'll actually give up on uh, sort of wasting time looking for him in the trees. MNT is fine. Wish, wanting the, the blink Deso next. Making sure that he can really amp up that, that damage and they'll have huge physical output between the Acid Spray, the Deso, the AC soon to be online for Nubito as well. Even Wish has Deso in his inventory, so that's going to be a lot of minus armor. See if they can find Pleb here, they can. Power shot spots him jumping through the trees. Pleb pushed out of this bottom area that he was trying to safely clear out waves from. Rain ready to respond. 
completely different game. Yeah. Like, Brame uh, is, really is the one who's in control. They're the one making uh, the moves. They're the ones controlling the vision in this game. And look at the Beto. He, like, he's alone. There is not a single hero. They're not like, doing anything. They're like yeah. 3,000 range away from him. I mean, they just know that if, if they go on him, Wish is going to be in with the ult. And um, with the Aegis, there's just no way they can take him out twice. Maybe not even the once right now. They want to try and jump Wish. BKB's out immediately. Own me wasn't able to find a black hole, but opportunity that he'd be happy with. And now he's in trouble. Nobito in with a concoction. Cold Embrace buys a bit of time, but the Shackle will be there to follow up. And the BKB already used Own me nothing to protect himself with. They'll take out the Enigma, and now they'll be in position to move down this bottom lane as well. Nobito jumps forward, catches out Lodi. 20 to 9. He just soon to expire, but Brain, they'll, they'll be very happy with how much they got done during this Aegis. Scaling into like mid late game with these tricores inside of Brain is going to be pretty difficult for DGG to match, especially with yeah. the advantage that they have. 11, head of Midas, BKB into Refresher. So double BKB, double Eye of the Storm, uh, like double static link. It, it's going to be very, very difficult for them to take the fight. And uh, we saw what like not gonna say a bad cold embrace is, but it's a setup. It's a setup for, like, if you use it defensively and they still have abilities, where we're talking about the shackle shot, the dispose, the, the starbreaker stun, concoction stun, anything. It feels like whoever gets saved, even by the cold embrace, is still gonna die in the end. And bottom lane, Pleb! They'll get the Wukongs off, but it doesn't matter. Three heroes immediately in on top of him. And with all the damage in the world to punch him through that BKB, it just won't keep him safe. He cannot stand his ground on his own. Carry out for 40 seconds. More time for Brain to get further and further ahead. At 22,000 gold lead, 25 minutes in, getting very close to the 1,000 a minute. And now what I said like a couple of minutes before becomes even more true, where if they take a fight, they misuse their abilities, we're in territory where they could just straight up end the game. If there are no buybacks, they use the Black Hole, Winter's Curse, they got no kills, or if Brain decides to buy back on those heroes, like, the, the, I feel like that's how the game's gonna end. They're gonna, there's gonna be one fight, the DGG is gonna use their abilities, and the game ends. Uh, what Brain is waiting for is next Roshan. They want to get the Shard and Aegis, and then go, go for the high ground push. Oh yeah, I like what our observer is pointing out, the Wind Waker on Wind Ranger. Big, big item. If you can farm that against Winter's Curse, against the Black Hole, uh, it's it's your save. It's super expensive item, but uh, very cool to use. Once you get to, to that timing, uh, you can do so much with it. And it uh, seems like Monkey King with Hand of Midas as carry is going to be 0-4 at the end of the day. It doesn't look good so far. It's it's a rough game too. It puts you in a spot where you don't want... I'm not saying they're losing because of the Hand of Midas, no, but sure. uh, all these things added up uh, do put you in a spot where like you, you, that there's no comeback. There is comeback, but uh, the execution of their teamfight abilities needs to be perfect. Yeah, and there's got to be mistakes from Brain. Because if they keep playing as they have been in this game too, it looks very hard to sort of see this going any other way than Brame's victory here. And look to set up in the mid. Uh, this is not a bad way to, to, to start something. That it's a lot no of gold. It's almost 2,000 gold combined, what they got All from right, it. All right, yeah, he wasn't able to get the BKB off. I mean, that that is as big as a, of a killer that you can get right now if you're DGG. And Roshan is about to respawn. Like, this All is the right. perfect timing. Okay, well, here we go. Yeah, Gaben. They, they may be 26k down, but they just killed the carry. Gaben kind of blessed them. Look at this. Look at this. Look, I mean, they, they're going to get it, right? I mean, look, 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 look. I mean, he like, does not have buyback. He spent all of his money. He did. Yeah, he put the recipe right for Abyssal Blade, I think. Oh, no, he did. No, it, no. I think it's on the courier. It's on the... I thought I saw it. Maybe it didn't. Maybe he did, but then he tried. It's, it is on the oh, courier. It is. it is on the courier. So, yeah, he spent up on that. So, not a chance to get over to this one. And you don't, I feel like you don't see that every day. The team that's 27,000 gold behind at 28 minutes, uh, being able to walk into Roche and take it completely uninterrupted. 
That's, that's as big as it gets here for DGG playing from behind. I, I think yeah. they could have tried to poke it because this Roshan was super slow. That's yeah, you would. It's not it, as it if all like their strengths on the outcome. Forty-five the, the seconds. Other, the other four heroes, yeah, surely they can take a fight four v five, but they didn't try for a brain, so they they've just handed the Aegis. Uh, on a play, if they use the DGG, if they use like power shot, uh, like plasma field, maybe one charge on BKB just to buy oh, time. Mate. Enigma, he's in with the black hole. One. He's been able to catch eleven. They've got the balance strike. They'll be able to take him down. The solar guardian's there, but not in time to provide any sort of save. They can look to go for more at DGG. They've got to back off. Wish will get taken down. We've seen Abita committed onto the side. He's been able to pick up a double kill. A good shackle and a disposal. Let's look at the stretch there on that string between the two of them. As it looks like Brame overall will still take the advantage this fight. Now let's chase out MTD. Cold Embrace buying a bit of safety. And burst the Aegis out of Pleb. So they can take him out a second time. You'll set up buying time for Nabito to head over Pleb. He has got Wukong to the ready. Curse also locking down Spartan. But with a BKB out for Nabito and a concoction in a second, he'll continue to look over towards Pleb. They'll dispose him out of the Wukongs to put it to an end, and they'll take him down. So still ends with Nabito getting the ultra kill. Give him the rampage. Or, oh, we oh, might find it. He's got the concoction. He has a best Oh, ball. yeah, we, he's going to get it. They're not going to even attack. Yeah, just let, let him have it. Let him have it. Here we go. Rampage for Nubito. May have died earlier. Gave DGG a bit of a window to take the Roche, but straight back into action. He makes sure that DGG are very well aware of how tough this game is for them. Like, not the, not the best team fight execution. They did land the black hole on one, uh, sucked in one of the heroes as well. But uh, yeah, they, they got a couple of kills. Zeus does have Nimbus. He just got 500 gold for killing Spartan as well. So. Eventually, like, they didn't lose any of the barracks, so it's all good. They took down the Aegis, so they can take the next fight as well. well let's see where they want to go. That's so done on Wish. Huge amounts of damage. Brain, they're ready to smoke up and jump. MTD. See how prepared he is for this one. And they go. There's the lead in. Follow up with the Shackle. All the damage in the world to take MTD down during that stun. A bit surprised he didn't pop a BKB. Because you see Dawnbreaker with double damage. Oh! You know that there's going to be wish. someone else. He, they cut him down. They was able to cut the tree. I got the curse. It's not going to save Pleb. Pleb still goes down and he's out without buyback. A very nice snipe there from Wish cleaning out the trees with a hammer. And off the high ground they go. No black hole for 25, no curse for a minute. This will be at least one set of racks. We'll see it again here straight away. Wish checking out the tree line and finding the big catch on Pleb. Oh, yeah, the, the Starbreaker with the shard, the, he got the BKB off during that time. The mini BKB, so he continued attacking and the acid spray did finish him off. There we go, two sets of racks. And Brame, I don't think they'll be backing up anytime soon. They'll keep this going. 34,000 gold ahead. Spartan, he's already managed to get this lead in. On to Loading. See if they can protect him. They need the Wyvern for, for the curse potential in 30 seconds, but Loading, he's gone. MTD will jump forward. They'll pop the Zeus top, but the BKB's already out for Nubito. 11 just dives in, kill zones me under the tier fours. He will buy back. MTD's trying to lead in on this, but the leaks out there. There's the black hole, one of the two of them. Onmi's got the lockdown, but do they have the damage? They don't. Onmi's out. MTD's gone as well. Triple kill for 11. Pleb, they'll try and hold his ground with the Wukong's command. See what they can get from this. They will find the kill on 11. Toss as well on the Nubito. They'll, they'll get the two of them. It's the a damage. lot of gold. Look, look at the gold. How much did he get? 2.6k for that kill. It's a lot of money, but the mega creeps are out. DGG, they'll have to deal with that pressure. If Even with that like, going. good black hole from Enigma, they like Enigma still dies. Double eye of the storm running and the sitting inside the acid spray, you just melt. Yeah. Tiny did pick up the shard, so he can be the one dealing with the mega creeps on one side. The monkey. Uh like with this itemization, he can't really deal with the Mega Creeps that easily. He just doesn't push the wave fast enough. Like he's even struggling with the small camp, with the easiest camp in the game. <laughs> and on a place you want to be here is the carry. 33 minutes in. He's queuing up the big one as well. 
Rapiers on the menu for Pleb. They need drastic measures here to hold on in this game. They're down so much right now in game two. Let's see if he's able to farm it. He's quite a bit of time. Got the setup onto him. BKB still on cooldown for 10 seconds, loading in with a curse. Exactly what they needed there. Keeps Pleb safe and sets them up to take down Thug. Look what Loden has queued up. I mean, he's like, dude, if my carry's playing this game with a Midas, so am I. Does he wish lead in? He's getting bashed. Pleb trying to commit onto this with the BKB. I mean, only's coming in from the side. They jump forward. Got the Malefist. There'll be a buyback from Thug, but they won't be able to get anyone over here to save Wish. A, a, a big opening again that the DGG are, are being able to find pretty much against the odds here, 30k down. They're able to get in takedown Wish, and also a scenario where Thug was buying back. Wasn't actually able to do These kills, them. they're worth a lot yeah. of gold. Like, they just killed Wish for, I mean, for 1.5k. He look does at, have Mitre. He I bought the, my, the 35 Mitre. Dude, and look at his next item, bro. Hey, it's the Divine Rapier. Let's go. Loading's ready to carry. He's ready. I mean, a good curse, right? And you're sitting there at the distance that you can kick the damage out with the Arctic Burn and the Rapier. You're killing anyone in that curse. Or at least get, bring them down very, very low. So it's now a rush for the Rapiers here, <laughs> but not just Pleb, but also Lodine for DGG on the defense against the Megas. Maybe he thinks Pleb will pick his Rapier because he's going to farm a lot faster, and then he's going to steal his Rapier. That's true. And it's true. He could be eyeing up the chance to, to grab his buddy's Rapier. Of course, only once it, it's gone into the hands of Brain. But uh, he, he can sort of let Brain pick it up and then maybe look for it to put, clean up the kill with the curse. And DGG's heading out. Eleven's on his own down here. It's a little separate from the rest of the team, Eleven. The rest of Brain now moving over. But might not be soon enough. I mean, Eleven's going to get jumped. He's gone. I mean, uh, I, I don't think you should normally be concerned if you're 30k ahead. But we, we've seen kind of all three cores now, right? In situations where they're, you know, the team's 30k ahead. But we had that sort of situation when Nubito gets taken down. I mean, in the mid, Wish gets taken down in the mid, and now Eleven gets taken out in the triangle. There, there's sort of signs of crumbling despite being this far ahead of the cost. Yeah, and again, 1.5k gold for that kill. Because they're so far ahead. Uh, we've seen this before when Brain played against Ivy, I believe. Like, they played yeah. two games uh, against Mega Creeps. They did have Mega Creeps in two of those games, and uh, yeah, they managed to lose the series. Deep. Full Aghanims now for, for MTD, so he's going to have some great damage to throw out, especially on top of these black holes from Owned Me when it comes to defending the high ground. And that Rapier, it's close. You know, Pleb, he, he's going to have it. 1,400 gold and it will be there. Not like this, Brame. How is it possible to do it so many times? I mean, I know it says 30,000, but you can feel that uh, they don't think they can just go in and end the game. Like, they, they don't feel they can take these fights anymore. They're, they're waiting for the Roshan, for sure. Yes. But that, you know, the, having to wait for the Roshan, I mean, it's not the shortest of respawns as well. Still an extra minute and a half before it's up. Does mean that you're very likely going to have to be pushing into Pleb with a, with a Divine Rapier. He's closing in. He's getting very close. See if we get some uh, big tier fours as well. Spell Prism, drop for DGG, Timeless Relic. Four Brain. Yeah, Zeus is going to be holding the Spell Prism, lower the cooldown. Like, Zeus is getting big. This is the position for Zeus with Shard, Aghanim Scepter, Kaya. Like, the spell, look at the damage. Yeah, yeah Zeus out alone. And of course, you know, being a Zeus as well does mean that you should have a, a decent job of being able to, to, to push the creep waves out. And especially so if he's able to get to the 25, that extra damage on the Arc Lightning. You know, they can hold against the Megas, DGG, no doubt about it. One of the reasons why we're seeing Brain be as careful as they are despite having this huge gold lead. Roshan back up in 15 seconds. It does look to be very likely that Brain will be set up to head in there, take it themselves, and I, I, would you imagine the DGG, will, they won't take the risk of heading over here to take a fight this uh, far? They the could, if the lanes are in a good try? spot. Yeah, okay. I, I think they're definitely going to take the fight. I mean, they're, they're, they're checking it out. They're going to see the respawn there with an Imbus. Rapier is online. 
And they've got the black hole good to go. I think only not quite having the money for the refresher. No, he's still short on that. But they have got the combo. And Pleb, he's got the damage. Let's see how they can start things. They're rather grouped up here, Brain. There's the jump! Oh, it's the big one! Own me, he's in! Three man black hole straight away! Wukong's command is down! They've taken out Dark, they've taken out Nabito, they've taken out Wish! Triple kill, curse from loading, locks down Spartan! That's the There's no goal way, for no like way they, they're getting away with this one. They managed to kill all four of them. They placed down Observer Ward and the, it scouts all three of them grouped up together. They were grouped up, so they were grouped up perfectly! They clicked follow, I mean, they clicked follow on each other, move. I mean, Eleven is poking at this, but there's only two alive. I see the buyback now from Wish. It's coming over with the ultimate. They're really trying to kill Pleb. Pleb, he's able to back off to the side. They will lose own meat. Eleven, chasing Pleb going to Pleb. Going Pleb down. goes down. Rapier hits the deck because Wish, he's able to pick it up. MNT, well, also fully was trying to bring Wish down. The buybacks, Brain will manage to regain control around this area of the Roshan. Top lane, bottom lane, pushing Pleb, in. Pleb ball back for this. He's hovering around the, the Roche pit still. I mean, Roshan is low. It's not, not really like Pleb can finish it on his own, though. Yeah, their, their Roche taking is uh, pretty bad, but they needed to use these buybacks. And now Dawnbreaker is the one holding the rapier. And it's level 26. Two star breaker charges. Oh, the, yeah. yeah. Oh, Dixie Dixie's found him. He was hiding in the tree. Wish throws out the hammer, knocks Pleb down. Dead for two minutes. They will get the Aegis. The Ags and the Cheese. I mean, that's, and that game, that's be game. It. Like, they just don't have enough damage. Enigma gone for 30 seconds. Uh, Enigma just bought something. Not sure what Enigma bought, but yeah, that was beautifully done by Owned Me. Great start to the fight, but as we can see, you know, they may have managed to put themselves in a position where they're only 23k behind, but with the way that things proceeded, the buybacks, the Brain were able to commit with. Brain's now back up 43k gold. They're pushing down the mid. No pleb for 90 seconds. And we'll go with the Starbreaker Wish. He's diving in. MTD will put the BKB. But the physical is so much damage. MTD will live. They'll have the four of them up, but no black hole for 30 seconds. Can they no really glyph. do anything? They already used it. As the Ancient, it's exposed, Eleven, he's just diving in, making the space here for the Ancient to fall. As there we go, GG is called, Brame will manage to close up this game too. There were moments towards the end. They got to score it for a second, like that black yes. hole was amazing. Uh, Brame, they don't look too happy about it. Uh,